الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد the question has been posed السلام عليكم i am debating a sufi i shared a hadith that one has to recite surah al-fatiha in janaza prayers he replied that ibn umar radiyallahu ta'ala an didn't used to recite it. I can't find this. I'm writing what he wrote. Maybe you can help. Uh, is this true? Is the hadith athar sahih? And how to respond to him? I saw a lot of had a hadith to support the recital of Surah Al-Fatiha. Is there ijma on it? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us and bless the questioner and forgive us and forgive the questioner and bless us all with ikhlas, with thabat, First, as I've said countless times, as we learn from our ulama and as was the way of the Salaf, part of the Minhaj of the Salaf, is to avoid getting into debates, except for with the conditions for that. And this is not a time to go into the issue of Mira and all those things, but you want to be cautious about getting into debates on the internet, and especially if you haven't done any talab al-ilm to where you can make a knowledge-based discussion. And, of course, anything related to the religion of Islam, it should have ikhlas, it should have sincerity. So if you're debating, you're not debating to make your opinion upright, but rather you're debating to find the haq and to come uh, be conclusive with regards to the haq, regards to the truth. So first and foremost, avoid getting into debates on the internet, on forums, and otherwise, and especially with Ahl Bid'ah. It's better to avoid those things because you can also belittle the haq if someone's a better debater than you and you have the truth, but maybe you don't do justice to the truth because maybe you're not as articulate or as charismatic, or what have you. So those are some of the reasons to avoid getting debate. With regards to the issue, the issue of uh, Ibn Umar, uh, the issue of reading the Fatiha in the Janazah. So I'm going to read something very, a very, very beneficial piece of research, which is an explanation of Shar Balugh Muram, with regards, and this issue was brought up. So he first mentions a couple of hadith. One hadith is da'if that was mentioned in Balugh Maram. is the hadith of Jabir. On Jabir radiallahu ta'ala anhu qal kana rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yukibru ala janaizina arban wa yakra bi fatiha al-kitab fi takbirat al-ula ruahu shafi'i bi isnadin da'if. So this is a hadith, uh, uh, a weak uh, hadith that's da'if jiddin. Because in the uh, the from the ch chain of narrators was Ibrahim ibn Abi Yahya wa huwa uh, so ala kulli hal in this this is a weak hadith it's the hadith of Jabir which says which uh, which he said that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that during the janaza during our janaza prayers uh, we made four takbirat and read the Fatih al-Kitab in the first the first takbir. So this is a da'if jiddin, a very weak hadith, so you cannot use this as a hujjah. Then the next hadith that uh, Imam Ibn Hajar mentions in Bulugh Maram, he said, وَأَنْ طَلْحَ تَلْحَ عَبْدِ اللَّهِ بِنْ عُوفِ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ تَلْعَنُ قَالْ صَلَيْتُ خَلْفَ ibn Abbasin عَلَى جَنَازَةٍ فَقَرَأَ الفاتحة الكتاب. فَقَالَ لِيَعْلَمُوا أَنَّهَا سُنَّةٍ رُوَاهُ بُخَارِي This is a hadith in Bukhari, the hadith of Talha, uh, where he said, uh, رضي الله تعالى عن, that I prayed behind Ibn Abbas, رضي الله تعالى عنهما, in Janaza. And he read the Fatiha, and then he said, and no Verily, that this is the Sunnah, and this is in you can find this in Bukhari. 
with regards to this hadith, the Shaykh brought about, he said, in this mas'ala, there are two different uh, statements. So this is getting to the meat of the issue. He said, Al awwal wujub kira'at al fatiha wa huwa qul ahmed wa shafi'i wa ishaq wa dawood li hadith ubada radiyallahu ta'ala anhu la salat ni men lam yaqra al fatiha al kitab wa li hadith ibn Abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhu ma ladhi fi kitab wa hadith abi umama. Uh, so the first statement with regards to this issue is that it's an obligation to read Surah Al-Fatiha during the janazah. And this was the statement of Imam Ahmed, and it's the statement of Imam Shafi'i, or, uh, uh, and also Ishaq, and Dawood, meaning Dawood uh, uh, al-Zahiri. And this is due to the hadith, uh, using as the real, the hadith of uh, Ubada. Ubadat ibn Samit radiyallahu ta'ala anhu where he said la salat ni man lam yaqra al-fatiha al-kitab there is no prayer for the one who does not read surah al-fatiha uh, and then also the hadith of ibn Abbas radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and also a hadith of Abi Umama. So those are three a hadith saying that you should read the Fatiha al-kitab and those are the, that is the statement of those great uh, imma with regards to the first uh, view or opinion is that it's an obligation. And they have those three ahadith which are general because that hadith la salat li men lem yaqra al-fatiha kitab that there is no prayer for the one who does not read the opening chapter of the Quran meaning the Fatiha then this is a general hadith for all salat. So this is how this is a hujjah because this is general. It's am a general text meaning uh, and, 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 and supporting a general hukum here, meaning that for all Salat that you must read the Fatiha. So when we consider Salat al-Janazah, uh, 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 a type of Salat in prayer because you need wudu and, and so forth, then it falls under that. The second view that is also from our Salaf, Rahimahullah Jami'an, ليس في صلاة الجنازة قراءة القرآن وهو قول ابن عمر رضي الله تعالى عنه وأبي هريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه وصح عنهما كما في أوسط وقال به جماعة من التابعين وهو قول الثوري وأوزاعي ومالك ومالك وأبي حني أبي حنيفة وحجتهم أنها دعاء للميت فلا تشترط فيه قراءة وذهب شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية رحمه الله تعالى إلى أن قراءتها سنة والصواب والصواب هو قول الأول لأدلة المذكورة والله أعلم. so the second view from the salaf is that during صلاة الجنازة that there is no reading of the Quran. And this is the statement of Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu and the statement of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu and also this had, this has been authenticated in Osat Al-Osat and a group of the Tabi'een as well held this view that you do not have to that you do not read Quran in the Salat al Janazah. And this is also, this is the call, uh, the statement of uh, Athori, meaning Sufyan Athori, Rahimullah Ta'ala, wa Awza'i, Rahimullah Ta'ala, and Imam Malik, Rahimullah Ta'ala, wa Abi Hanifa, Rahimullah Ta'ala. So all of these great a'imma held the view, and from the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala, and Majma'in as well, so Sahaba and tabi'een that uh, it is not necessary to read the uh, that that you do not read the the Quran period in the Salat al-Janazah and their evidence for this is that it is that the Salat al-Janazah is really just dua for the for the deceased and it does not require as a condition to read the uh, to, to read, meaning read 
from the Quran. And Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah held the view that reading the Fatiha is Sunnah, that it's Sunnah during the Janazah. Reading the Fatiha during the Janazah is Sunnah, according to Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah. And then the author, the Sheikh here, may Allah preserve him, he said, and the most correct is the first opinion due to the evidence that was mentioned, those ahadith mentioning reading the Fatiha uh, during the Salat al-Janazah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. That is the view that I hold that uh, you read. And this is what the scholars that I have uh, sought knowledge from also hold this view that uh, you should read Surat al-Fatiha during the Janazah and that it is actually a part of the Janazah prayer. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم